Hey, um, I was just driving by. I was noticed your yard's getting a little bit long. I'll mow it down for you. Edge up your driveway and your sidewalk. And I'll do it completely free. No charge. You'd be saying different if you saw the very bad. Yeah, let's go see it. You don't want to mess with it. I'm telling. Like, wow, do you see the devil? This is amazing. Hey everyone, my name's Spencer with SB Mowing and I've got another great video for you this week. So I was driving past this house with my fiance and I had to stop to go knock on the door because the yard was super tall and the edges along the curb were crazy overgrown. I knocked on the door and told the homeowner I've got a bunch of professional equipment and I'm doing lawn transformations in the neighborhood and I'd absolutely love to take care of it for free. He told me that was super awesome and it would really help him out as his lawnmower broke down a few weeks ago and he hasn't had the chance to get it fixed. He also told me that I'd be taking back my free statement once I saw how crazy the backyard was. And I told him we'll see about that and had him bring me to the backyard to show me. So we went back there and right behind his house there's a big gate that opens up to his big backyard. So as we were headed back there, I looked up and saw that there were weeds and grass that was taller than I am and I'm six foot tall. The weird thing about me when I see a job like this is my heart starts to pound a little bit faster and I get really excited to actually cut down that grass. So this yard was an absolutely crazy transformation and the homeowner's reaction was amazing. So be sure to stay till the very end of the video to see the before and after pictures and the entire homeowner's reaction. I hope each and every one of you have an amazing day. And if you wanna to help to support me to continue this type of work, be sure to click that like button and subscribe as it goes a really long way for me. And be sure to comment down below as I'll be answering every single comment for the first three days. I really hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next Friday. SB out.
around is really hard. <laughs>
I don't know if you can see this right here but I think that's their front walkway and I don't really know where it goes but it goes somewhere out in their yard um, the bad thing is, is I forgot my tools to change my edger blade and my edger blade super tiny and I really only have like four or five hours left here to get the mowing and all the weeding done and everything else I want to get done so I'm kind of running low on time um, I think I'm gonna come back next week and do that and make, and make it a separate video so stay tuned for that that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be one of the craziest reveals I've done. So we're gonna get to mowing, weed eating, get the cracks in the driveways with the with the weed eater as well, and then blow everything off and get out of here. All right, we'll see you then.
Poison ivy can look a lot different than this in different places, but this is kind of what it looks like here in Kansas. You've got three leaves, if you can see them, three leaves on each little stem. And then on the on the outer two leaves, you'll see little uh, squigglies, or I, I just call them thumbs, on the outside of them. And then the middle leaf, the squigglies in the boat, on the inside. So we're just going to avoid that, get everything cut down back here. Weed whack everything up front and then get home, take a cold shower with Dawn dish soap just in case I got any of this oil on me. I'll be throwing all my clothes in the washing machine with a little bit of Dawn dish soap as well to get that oil broken down. And hopefully I don't get poison ivy infection. I've got a wedding in four weeks. So yeah, that'd be bad. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this out guys we get a lot of these in Kansas it's a mulberry tree little berries super sweet really nutritional um, people make these into wine um, they also dry them out and they eat them cool little snack I'm surprised there's not more uh, birds that have eaten these there's a lot on this tree
Gonna turn my lips blue. All right, so I was taking a quick break. Got back on my mower to start back up. I don't know if you guys can see this. The tire's flat. Um, I didn't bring any plugs with me. Otherwise, I'd air it up. And I, I can't even see where the hole is at. So I'm gonna load this up before all of the air leaks out and it gets really hard to move and then get out and weed eat everything and get out of here. Let's do it. <laughs>
<laughs> is it a big difference? Did you see way back there? Man, that grass was in the weeds were like that tall. But he says there's poison ivy back there. Yeah, so there's poison ivy. So where I didn't mow, there's a big bush on the side, on the left side. That's all poison ivy. Stay, stay out of that. He wanted that backyard done forever because he's a soccer fan. Oh, yeah? We got the pool. Well, you can set your, uh, your soccer ball and your net up there if you got one. Go practice back there. <laughs> Have a good day, y'all.